The COVID-19 pandemic is reshaping our cities in many ways. Most cities across the world are seeing a surge in the number of cyclists. Governments across the world are investing money to develop cycling infrastructure like cycleways and parking and at the same time establishing more bike-friendly traffic regulations to encourage people to switch over to this healthy and clean mode of transportation. The global bicycle market is expected to register a compound annual growth rate of almost 8% in the next three years. Cycling has a carbon footprint of about 21 grams of CO2 per kilometre. That's less than walking or getting the bus, and less than a tenth the emissions of driving. But ever wondered what if we could actually remove carbon from the air and fight air pollution while cycling? Well, this is going to be possible very soon with Rolo, an invention that aims to tackle one of the most pressing problems of the modern urban age, air pollution which, as per the World Health Organization, kills an estimated 7 million people worldwide every year. Hi, my name is Kristen Tapping. I'm the inventor of Rolo, a bicycle wheel that filters outdoor air pollution. Um, so the, I tend to get a lot of ideas, some good, some very bad, and um, usually they come out of observing problems or challenges. So I cycle around London quite a bit and when you cycle you're within the cars and you smell uh, the gases and you really see the fumes coming out the exhaust pipes. So as that was happening I also was in university um, and I had a design challenge a brief um, asked of me to come up with an idea for urban environments. So I kind of put two and two together came up with this idea on a whim. Um, roughly figured out how it could possibly work and then um, it turns out I ended up winning a competition out of it. It's called the Design Innovation in Plastics and it's actually happening this year again. Um, so after that I got a lot of media attention and even commercial intention, attention and so that's when I realized okay this could possibly be something that could be commercial and uh, viably commercial. My original prototyping was during COVID, lockdown number one. Uh, so it was mostly cardboard and using my own fan and trying some incense stuff. Um, prototyping after that would, was uh, 3D models that my university, London South Bank University, kindly uh, printed for me. And then I have a whole test rig with a motor, a chain, and then a wheel that makes my whole um, invention rotate and then it's able, able, I am able to see if it actually works. looking at expanding the business part of it or not expanding but structuring the business side of it because it's not just enough to have a good idea you also have to do a million things in the background to make sure that it's a it can be commercialized and trying to get help for free from public uh, funding through monetary means but also uh, grants that give you uh, really smart engineers to help you with your project and um, at the same time I am collecting um, interest for pilot launch where I send one or two wheels out to local authorities or cities and they test out my wheel um, and then if they're happy with it then hopefully they pass a big order. Uh, I encourage everyone to go to my website gorolo.com or follow me on social media. Again, it's GoRolo, at GoRolo on any, you know, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Um, and yeah, uh, give me your support. I would love to have it. Thank you. Bye.